Welcome back to the Palm Tea Pack. If you are new here, welcome. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make your own DIY rings for under $12. So let's not waste any more time and let's just roll the intro. First, let's cover what you're going to need. You will need some jewelry wire. I got mine from Amazon. I'll share the link with you in the description box below. You can choose to get wire that's 18 gauge all the way up to 22 gauge, it'll still work. I chose to use 20 gauge just because of the fact that 20 gauge will be more easy to manipulate and 18 gauge was just a little bit too thin so it was a bit uncomfortable for me to wear. Now in addition to the wire you'll also want something that's the relative size of the finger that you're making the ring for. I actually got this off of Amazon. It's a little ring sizer and I also got these in the set. These have actually been really helpful because I made several of my own DIY rings. If you're just making this for like, you know, fashion or just to make some cute rings with different kinds of wire, maybe just find a good marker or like a towel rod or something like that that's about the same size as your finger. But if you're making multiple, I highly recommend getting this. I don't remember exactly how much it was, I'll put the price here, but I will link this down in the description for you if you want to take a look. These are really handy too because I can size the top and the bottom of my knuckles to make sure that they're the right size and I can wrap it accordingly on this ring rod here. It's more convenient that way, but if you're not willing to spend the money, it's not a big deal. You can just find something that's generally the same size as your finger and then modify it as you go. The last thing you will need is a pair of pliers to manipulate the wire, bend it, and to get the ends where they need to be. You will also need a pair of pliers to cut it or a pair of wire cutters. Before we get into the ring making process, I did want to give you guys some information. I am making this a swan ring style to help with my hypermobile fingers. I have a connection tissue disorder called hypermobile Ehlers-Danlos syndrome which is also referred to as HEDS. Because of this it makes my fingers very bendable and not very stable so they're basically boneless and it causes lots of problems when I'm trying to push buttons. As you can see right now I have these rings. These I bought off of Etsy. I made a video on it right here on my sister channel talking about it. I also made a review on this channel if you guys want to watch that. It'll be in the description. That's another topic though if you guys want to learn more about these. Today we're talking about how to make a more affordable version of that. If you're interested to learn more about hypermobile Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome or other chronic illnesses, I highly recommend that you check out my sister channel. It'll be linked in the cards up here and it'll also be linked in the end screen at the end of this video also. But with that said, let's move on to making some rings, shall we? Okay, so we are on my floor of my studio right now. I apologize about the angle, but I've really been struggling with my heart symptoms recently and trying to figure that out. So this isn't really the best quality but that I would like to offer to you guys, but it's what I can do right now. So I hope it's good enough. I just wanted to make sure to get this DIY out there because I know a lot of Spoonies who need this hack just for short term solutions. So here we are. So I got my wire here and I'm sorry about the exposure, it's really bright, but this is my 20 gauge wire. I get my ring sizers, but you guys can just kind of put a pen up to your fingers and try to size it that way. Okay, so that'll work pretty good. But what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take this wire and we're just gonna wrap it around this number two right here. Now, I have this wrapped around twice and then I'm going to cross over the back. I'm gonna do it and then I'm gonna show you. It's gonna be really sh hard to show you while I'm doing it. Here's what we got. And then here's the back. And again, I'm so sorry about the freaking brightness right now. I hope I can change it in post, but if not, I apologize. But we're gonna take this off here and we're gonna stick it on my finger. See how it's a little big? We're just gonna turn and twist it until it fits a little bit better. We know about the general size of wire that I need. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it. We're gonna put it back on this little thing right here. We're just gonna tighten it. And I'm just turning counterclockwise. Just kind of tighten against this dowel here. All right, that's pretty good. There's these little pieces of wire edges now, and we're just wanting to tuck that in and make it like so it's not pointing out, but that it's underneath the wires. Let me do it and I'll show you what I'm talking about and maybe it'll make more sense. Okay, now after a few minutes of finagling, this is the final result. This is the back. 
works out pretty good for me as like a short-term solution when I don't have these little babies on. This does a great job to stabilize my hypermobile fingers and make sure that they don't laterally deviate and bend when they aren't supposed to. And it helps me be able to save money so that I can buy rings like this one because as you can see, I only have two. So if you do want to see my other rings that I've tried out, I would recommend that you check out this video here on my sister channel, Dre of Sunshine where I go over my different ring splints and which ones I like the most. These DIY rings are super cute. They work really well. But that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy making your own DIY rings. If you want to join us for more DIYs in the future, product reviews, and even more adventures, I highly recommend that you join the Pomchi Pack and subscribe. We would sincerely love to have you. We are steadily approaching 1,000 subscribers, which makes me so happy. I make these videos because I love to do DIYs and I love to be able to share new ideas with you guys and help you learn how to continue to save money. <laughs> As we all know, money is kind of a hard thing to come by right now. If you want to learn more about me and my health conditions and how I manage them and how I overcome them, you guys can join me on my sister channel, Dre of Sunshine, where I share chronic illness tips and tricks, how to deal with an unideal life, and how to make the best of it. I sincerely hope to see you there because honestly, this has been my passion project as of lately. I've really wanted to do something a little bit different with it. I've been working on a lot of stuff behind the scenes that I hope you guys come to enjoy. We would love to have you and have you, oh my gosh. If you wanna be here for more of my uh, impossible speaking skills, be sure to subscribe. <laughs> Off of anime. And last thing you will need, Everybody in Idaho has a truck. I'm so over it. To help uh, with my hypermobile. Oh my good gracious. Holy criminy. There's a drag race outside of my house right now. I'm so over it. I'm so sick of this stupid road. Thank you again so much for joining me today. If you are not sick of my face yet and you would like to see more, you can check out this playlist up here that has more of my DIYs. Or you can check out this playlist that has more product reviews from Palm Tree Productions. Make it a great week by trying something new, and I will see you guys next week. Bye!